Thank you. Following our last resolution in September about the detainment of EU Iranian dual nationals, including my constituent, Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, who is facing her fourth Christmas in a jail in Tehran when she should be at home with her family. The Iranian government has shown a further flagrant disregard for the rights of its own people. Last month saw the biggest protest since the 1979 revolution breakout in response to a 50% increase in fuel prices. This peaceful protest was followed by a brutal crackdown by the Iranian authorities involving the arrest of up to 7,000 individuals, hundreds of people being injured, and according to Amnesty International, at least 304 people, including children, have been killed. Freedom of expression and freedom of assembly are recognized as fundamental rights by the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, to which Iran is party. The protesters in Iran had a legitimate reason to be protesting, Yet the Iranian authorities responded disproportionately and inflicted harm on them. It is the duty of governments to protect their own people. These actions are a far cry from that. Furthermore, the nationwide shutdown of online communications by the government has made it difficult for Iranians to tell their stories. This is an infringement of their free speech. Such behavior is set against a backdrop of an increasingly repressive environment in Iran which has seen human rights defenders, independent media, lawyers, and online activists targeted for speaking out about what is happening in the country. The EU must act now. This resolution, which will be discussed tomorrow, demands that the protesters be freed unconditionally, calls upon you as the High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy to continue to raise our concerns about the human rights situation in Iran and ask that the UN Human Rights Council conduct an investigation. The rights of the Iranian people and dual EU nationals cannot wait.